What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the seventh beta of iOS 18 to developers and public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. All right, so this beta is mostly bug fixes, and we will explain why later in the video, so stay tuned for that. If we go into the control center right here, a couple people reported changing stuff inside of beta six and then restarting their phone, and then their custom section would just disappear. So this specifically happened if you had a additional page like right around here in between of music and the main page. If that happened and you restart your phone, your entire settings would just disappear. But people have been reporting that that all their sections have came back inside this latest beta. That's good to know if you experience that, that your settings have been saved, just have not been appearing inside the control center here. All right, the next one's a little bug fix regarding iOS 18.1. So this is iOS 18 beta 7. So if you were to update from iOS 18 to 18.1, your photos library would just del delete it. Fortunately, this was an issue in the last beta and this is now fixed inside this latest beta. So want to update to iOS 18.1, you no longer need to worry about that as that is now fixed in this latest beta. And the last change are for people who have the iPhone 15 Pro, we got another bug fix here inside this latest beta and it has to do with the silent mode toggle. Some people reported not being able to place the silent mode toggle. However, this has now been fixed inside this latest beta of iOS 18. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, since that does not have an actual silent switch, it has just a button that you just press that silences it. And you can configure it to do whatever you want. So at least that has been fixed inside this latest beta. Now, last thing might be placebo, but it seems a lot faster to hide stuff now. So before there used to be like a little lag when hiding stuff, but now if you were to hide distracting items and then tap it to hide it, it just seems like a much smoother animation. So I think it might have been running at 60 hertz before, but now it's running at 120 hertz. Could be wrong, but it just feels a lot snappier. All right, so let's talk about iOS 18 beta 8 and why we might not be getting a new beta. So next week is the week of the 26th, and, and according to Mark Gurman, iOS 18 beta 7 is the last beta of iOS 18. And historically in the past, we would get a beta 8, and in some cases a beta 9. But it looks like we're not getting that this year. Now my prediction is that we will get an iOS 18.1 beta. Unfortunately, I'm not able to cover those, but this is why you have not been seeing those. But I think we're gonna get a beta of iOS 18.1 that brings over whatever changes we got inside of this beta. And then we'll skip a week and then the RC will come out the week after. If you have any issues, it looks like it's not gonna be fixed until the week of September 9th. Anyways, that is everything that we have got inside this latest beta of iOS 18. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!